welcome to the Data Holics YouTube channel. And in this video, we are going to understand how to upload a CSV file to Metabase, right? Let's say if you want to practice uh, on some sample data, like right? so, you can connect uh, Metabase to some databases like SQL Server, PostgreSQL, MySQL, Athi, Amazon Athena, Redshift, Snowflake, and so many. Uh, or else, you can simply upload a CSV file, like right? you know. So this is the Metabase interface. Let us see how do we upload a CSV file. To metabase to practice or to do get our task done. So in the home page, you can very clearly see. Uh, we will just go to the collection sample collection. Let's say this is my collection, and here I want to upload. So this is the option of upload data to sample collection. We can upload uh, up to 50 uh, MB maximum CSV file. So clicking on it, enable in settings first. I have to, if you are doing it for the first time, you just have to do that. Uh, let's say I want to do put that data into the sample databases, right? And in the schema, public schema, okay, uh, the table prefix, let's say, should be sample table and my name Akshat, for example. You can give any meaningful name also. Enable uploads. So in this database, in this schema, the table might might, might be uploaded, right? So this was done. Okay, I'll, I'll again go to this upload option and I will just browse my file. So for example, this is my file and I am going to open it. Healthcare dataset under uh, underscore dataset dot csv. So it is taking a while to upload the data into sample collection. Right here, this will be uploaded into Metabase in this sample collection folder. Right. So let it happen. Yeah. Now it is uh, done. And if I want to see this here, click on it. We can easily visualize this. Right now. If you want to create some visualization bar chart, graph chart, according to this, we can just click on visualization option and bar chart, right? If you want to see any bar chart, if I want to change the settings. So on the X axis, let's say if I want to see the gender of the patient and on the Y axis, I want to see the billing amount. Currently there are uh, like, you know, the data, if you want, uh, we can also write some queries on this and then get the data displayed again, the same options uh, we have already covered everything in detail, how to create visualization, how to create, manipulate the visualization, how to show the value data point, what is the purpose of this, how to manipulate the access, everything is already covered in another video. You can watch that video into detail. Okay. For example, I want to see just a number and what number I want to see as uh, in the number setting. Okay. Yeah. So. Since we do not have any aggregated number uh, in the table, that is why it is just showing one. But yeah, we can always do that. I hope that uh, is uh, you are able to understand the point what, what I was trying to make table. This was the whole data which we uploaded from CSV file. Okay, now uh, go to the show editor. This is the data. If you want to manipulate anything, just for an example, we go to the summarize part. And if I want to see the count of rows, count of rows, visualize. It is telling me 10,000. Now this is uh, just a simple tabular representation, but we can again visualize it using a uh, number to make it look better to add into the dashboard to have a proper visualization. So for example, this is a simple number. We can select this option of number like this. So this I, and what I can do is I can save this uh, healthcare count of rows, count of patients, let's say in healthcare data set okay and give a meaningful description i want this to save into the sample collection okay save and it will ask us to add this to the dashboard let's say i want to add this to the dashboard i have already only one dashboard in sample collection sample dashboard okay and it will be by default added in the first tab at the last but i can always move it to the tab 4 because tab 4 as of now is empty now so this is uh, helping me to create a good dashboard right i hope that is making some sense Save. Right. So this was the point uh, which I wanted to make. We can upload the data from CSV, visualize it, uh, manipulate it. And again, let's do more visualization on it to practice. And instead of only count, I want to see, uh, let's say, uh, filter the data. Okay. Let's filter the data where the gender is equal to male. Let's say, okay. Add filter. Preview the data. You will only see the male data. And again, I want to save it. Save as a new question. If you, if you will replace it to count of the pa uh, patient in the healthcare data, that query will be re uh, replaced, but I do not want to replace it. I want to save it as a new question. So let's say, uh, data 
Pair gender is male. This is my name, and this is like description you want to give. Save, add it to the dashboard, sample dashboard, and again it will be added to the first tab at the end. Since the visualization was a number, it is only showing me two. But let us rectify it. Let's say I want to add to add in the tab four only. Correct. So this is the thing. Now, uh, since so I I just wanted to the to see the tabular data. What I will do? I will just manipulate the query. I will tell you where the error happened. In the visualization, we will have to uh, currently it is number, but I have to select that table if I want to see the male data in the tabular format. That's something, right? Done. Save it. Replace original question, yeah, because I wanted to update that. Okay. Again, I'll go to the sample collection. Go to the sample dashboard. Tab four. Now you see we will have the uh, tabular data, but since it is very small, edit the dashboard. expand it to see the proper visualization okay again so this is how we can create visualization from a csv file let's do some more visualization to practice more uh, what i will do i will just uh, yeah in the sample collection go to the healthcare data set let's start from scratch uh, show editor this is the thing now let's say if you want to uh, summarize the data and i want to see the uh average of uh, let's say billing amount okay and pick a column to group by because average of billing amount will give me just one value overall average of that whole column this is the average of billing amount if this is needed then fine but i want to see uh, let's say uh, go to the editor i want to see the average billing amount uh, according to the let's say medical condition it will give me a sense of understanding that okay if the patient has diabetes this is the average amount they spent if the patient has arthritis this is the average amount they spent and so on let's say this this was my requirement okay and uh, yeah there is no more filter required on this after this in in the question if 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 required you can add more filters of course any filter and i want to visualize it yeah so this is what i needed okay fine save it and uh, average billing uh amount according to medical condition okay it should go to the sample collection that's fine save add to the dashboard yes please sample dashboard and let's say i want again it is added to the first tab sample data last but i want to shift it to the tab 5 for say tab 5 right so let's say tab 5 i rename it as uh, medical condition average billing amount right so the, and i can again uh, manipulate it like this or whatever you you want whatever comfortable for you whatever you feel right okay that's how now i hope uh, things are clear like how do we uh, import data from csv to metabase how do we visualize it how do we manipulate it how do we create reports and how do we create dashboard right? so after all this i would suggest that you know only watching the video will never help you you have to try that right so uh, i will uh, share this uh, you know uh, say share this data set on my github and uh, the link will be given in the description but try to follow you know the steps uh, do visualization in your own system if you have any doubt just let us discuss in the comment section resolve it and because you know it's a very widely used tool nowadays a uh, very good bi tool right and uh, by now you must have understood that it's, it's very easy and interactive as well so i suggest you to practice as much as you can share your work on different uh, social platforms like linkedin so that you know hiring managers hrs and uh, uh, people may know about you your work your progress so that would be really helpful for you when you're seeking for a job or upskilling yourself So that's all for this video, and I hope things are clear. And I just for a reminder, I always uh, sorry, I already have any uh, another video on MetaBase uh, in which I have discussed from end to end how to uh, what is MetaBase, how to install it, how to uh, you know uh, uh, walk through about the documentation, then how to create dashboards, reports, how to add filters in the reports, uh, and connect it with the dashboard, and, uh, how to subscribe that dashboard to the email. everything is covered end to end that's a very short video i think 30 35 minutes uh, watch it watch that video if you want a complete understanding about metabase platform and i think only these two videos can help you a lot right after this practice is needed 
and if you have again have any doubts just let us know in the comment section so if you get value from my videos uh, please consider subscribing to my youtube channel the data holic it helps us to grow it helps uh, the content to reach more uh, needy people to to reach more people so that it might be helpful for them uh, you know you know maybe preparing for interviews and all so like the video uh, put your doubts in the comment section put your feedbacks in the comment section subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next video thank you